Uh, that's where my bunk is. I sleep there. Downtown Long Beach for 2022 Fleet Week. Day. We got Creamy Boy, New York Deli on Wheel, Dulce, Dulce. Oh, it's straight line. Flight deck, huh? Some people work out on that run, like me. Yeah. All the plumbing stuff, I run around like that. Flight deck, uh, roughly 80,000 square feet. Uh, normally, the CEO, the captain, steering, uh, steering the ship or the officer deck will sit up there in the bridge. That's like the air tower or air watch. Operations to make sure pilots land, uh, take off, and land safely so you can take care of the bad guys all over the world. Um, so, only what we do is that we help rescue um, any pilots. Yeah, that's how it is. Though. It's like, it's everything's inside. So. All right, how's everyone enjoying LA Fleet Week so far? The 
LPD. So it's a docking transport ship, mainly conducting amphibious operations, which would be moving ship or ship personnel and marine personnel and their equipment from the ship to the shore or from the shore to the ship. We don't want people getting lost on the ship. It can be pretty confusing, especially if you haven't been on the ship before. If you have ABS, it's, it's uh, most This area that we're currently standing right now is the main vehicle stowage area. So we have this area and all the way up board, two lower vehicle stowage areas. Currently the ramp for them is up so you can't look down or walk down. So, medical ward absolutely pretty awesome right see it goes without words so uh, should we have like a mass casualty or multiple casualties this will be where we would uh, sort them prioritize them uh, and treat them quick somebody help them one of their operating rooms. X-ray room. Again. Wind restrictions, speed restrictions, things of that nature. But it's a boom if we had a man overboard, if we use the limited space and how the ship is built, so we'll always have one boat in the uh, side of the ship right there. So that's what the thing Oh, it's going to be Molly. This is the uh, missile. That being said, on deployment, the line is wrapped all the way down the ladder well, yeah. or sometimes all the way back to where it's medical. Like, not a lot of science. So when I first got on board, I actually, uh, the second day, I was trying to leave, and me and another engine that just checked on board were coming from, like, our uh, early years. Our goals were half an hour. But over time, just to be good, I mean, you get lost by The laser. I can't talk all too much about our laser, but I can tell you, small craft attack team. Laser so equipped. normally when we're doing sea and anchor, so when we're pulling out, so we just got back from our deployment. We went all the way over to the Middle East and then back. It was fun. Hard work is maintenance. Yes, you get dirty. <laughs> it, can be, it can be quite difficult. This is where they sleep. <laughs> This right here is some of our DC equipment. So I was formerly the repo on the ship. Now I'm engineer training officer. They both switch up like that a lot. So I'll talk to you about some of this equipment. Boat chopping.
anything to make money. What the? It's like a compass in there. 